Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, what you're looking at are the finished axles for the CJ3B welder Jeep. I just got these back from hardening and everything fits just perfectly. There's no wiggle room there on that end. And same thing here on the 19 spline end. There's no movement, no anything on there. Uh, I got the long one and the short one. Uh, now what I did before I sent these out was I sent out an original axle and I believe they told me that was 1039 material. Um, you can't really get our hands on that easily but uh, big auto manufacturers uh, back in the day were making stuff out of 1039. I had them test the hardness on this one and then I made a sample piece of 4140 and I put the splines on it and I had them do a test harden on that so that we could see if the splines were going to grow or shrink or, or anything um, now the thing about axle shafts is you're not after super super hard um, you know you don't want to file the skate off it now I got some some tooling back uh, this is let us see if it okay this is s7 and the file will just it'll just glide right off that. that that won't bite in at all this is uh this is a rockwell 60 uh and that's some louver tooling um <clears throat> so that's different now on the original axle i had them test the hardness and you see we could actually take a little cut on that with the file on both sides okay you see that's shining right up okay so once we knew what the original axle hardness was, they hardened my sample piece, and nothing happened to the splines. That was good. And then they went ahead and they hardened this. Now 4140 has a tendency to um, uh, distort, twist. Um, you could try and hang it vertically and keep it straight. Um, but what my guys do over at the hardening place there. Um, they just harden it and then they straighten it. They're extremely good at straightening shafts and uh, these are absolutely perfect. So <clears throat> you can induction hard harden the splines and the seal area and then leave the rest soft. Uh, we did not do that on this time. That will give you a tough axle. We through hardened it and we tempered it and like I say it's uh, you know it's not you know the, the file doesn't skate right off it you need some toughness in an axle so I don't know if there's anybody out there making their own axle shafts I mean maybe maybe not but if you guys are doing that choose your hardening company very carefully make sure they understand that it is an axle it needs good rotational stability and you don't want it just super super hard um, so hardness can make or break an axle. Um, the next thing that's critical on an axle is you have no slop. If that's shucking back and forth right there, you're going to ruin your axle quickly. You have to cut your splines perfect. You have to take it to a shop that really understands how to harden things. Um, the shop I've been using, I've been using forever. They're fantastic. You could tell them anything you want. They can harden anything. And if you tell them what you're doing, uh, you'll get their expert opinion on how to do it. Like I say, these are through hardened and they are tempered very carefully. So this is going to be a long lasting, durable, tough axle. Um, and that's all you can that's all you can really hope for, you know what I mean? So, like I say, if you do have an axle you're replacing and you have one, um, send it out. They'll they'll test it and, and you'll be that much closer to having a long lasting, perfect axle. Now, next time you see these guys, well, you actually won't see them. They'll be in the axle, and um, we'll be one step closer on that Jeep to, uh, to getting some more things done. But it's been a long road making these and, uh, and getting them hardened and getting them back. The day's finally here. They're here. The fit is perfect. I was concerned that the, the gears wouldn't go back on. I was concerned about these splines and stuff, but uh, the company did an excellent job. Couldn't be happier with it. 
just wanted to show you guys what they look like finished and I polished them up the seal area is right in here and right in here and I didn't go crazy polishing the rest of the shaft but uh, it does get a little discolored when it gets hardened but, um, these are going to be nice long lasting axle shafts okay just a quick one today that's all I got for you thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one